Hi, hello and welcome to EC Electronics. In this video, I would like to share with you guys some of the interview questions which I have to face with the Capgemini. So I have given this interview as a fresher when I have completed my MTech immediately. I uh, have a cleared aptitude and given the GD and then I got selected for the interview. And this interview happened in Cochin. And I and this was an off-campus interview and I have to travel to Cochin to, uh, to give this interview and all the exams also, the GD and the aptitude, everything happened in Cochin. Okay, uh, so I would like to share with you guys the questions which I face in the Capgemini interview and also the answers which I have answered uh, in this particular interview. So this interview which I had to give was a uh, was not a very technical uh, interview but this was more like a HR type of interview and when I asked the other candidates also they had also a similar experience. So I don't know whether the interview pattern is very much same for all the people or all the posts but this was for a freshers post and uh, this was a for the immediate freshers post and this was for the off campus tribe of Capgemini. So uh, the interview was more like a HR type of interview uh, than a uh, technical interview. Okay, but obviously they are testing whether you know the very basic structure of uh, programming or coding and whether you know about the basics of coding. Obviously they will be testing, but uh, yes, uh, it was a more type, more like a HR type of interview. The first question which I had to face in the interview was yes, obviously the uh, the common question which everybody faces in every interview was the tell me about yourself question and I was prepared for such a question I was uh, I had a content in my mind to uh, answer while I mean asked such a question I'll be doing a separate video on how to answer this question that is how to answer the tell me about yourself question we'll be seeing that in a separate video okay so let's see what are the other questions the next question I, which I have faced was why would we hire a fresher like you rather than going for an experienced person? So I have answered this question like this, that when uh, you're hiring an experienced person, obviously you have to give more amount of pay and keeping the payment or the salary apart. While you're thinking of uh, the productivity, obviously when you're hiring a fresher, you're getting a fresh mind. That means you are getting a more productive mind. Uh, as per biological things okay so uh, you will be getting maximum output you can make it uh, make use of this productivity to the maximum you can extend it you can train them and you can train this mind to get maximum uh, output from it and obviously you can stretch the productivity maximum so that was my answer I think he was obviously impressed with this answer that's why I got through the interview the next question was why Capgemini that is why I have chosen Capgemini as my first work location that was the next question so while answering this question you have to think that the person sitting in front of you is not just stupid that uh, whatever you are going to say he will absorb it that is he will digest it so please think that you don't have to be so much diplomatic but you have to be little diplomatic okay so uh, I answer this question like uh, the first, uh, my first work look, work location is Capgemini because because obviously because I have cleared the technical uh, rounds because I have uh, cleared the aptitude and I got through all the sessions and uh, and then I'm here and also I know that Capgemini is really established and it has a lot of work locations all over the India and uh, and outside India also so. Uh, it is a very established firm. I can see a good career growth in Capgemini. I can uh, think of achieving my dreams. So that was my answer. And while answering such a question in your interviews, you have to keep in mind that you, uh, you have to be a little bit genuine. And also you have to uh, think of the goodness of the company which you are choosing. Okay, so you have to answer this question accordingly. The next question was actually a situation. That is, if you're going to transfer to Ch Chennai or Mumbai, but your family want you to come back to uh, your native and settle down there, what will be your choice? That is, your family want you to come to uh, maybe another company uh, or just uh, settle down in your native place. But you are getting a transfer in Camp Gemini, that is, you have been relocated to some other place. So what will be your option? Will you come back to your native or will you be uh, relocating to the place which the company is relocating you to so uh, my answer was uh, I'll be uh, thinking of the situations at that time whenever I'm getting a relocation if uh, the priority is given to the the family that is if the scenario is like that if the situation at that time is like that I'll be obviously uh, I'll be uh, relocating to the native otherwise I'll be surely going to the place where the company is trying to relocate me I'm always flexible with my uh, location relocations 
but uh, yes, I have I have importance to the family also. The next question was also a situation that is, uh, you are uh, in the evening, you are just coming out of your company, and uh, immediately whenever you are uh, reaching your home, your manager is calling you and he's asking uh, that he needs some important data from your computer. But uh, currently you can't give it because you are at home and you can't travel back. But you come, uh, your manager wants your data. Then he is asking you that just give me your password. I'll log into your system and take the data. Will you be able to give your password or uh, whatever? What, what will be your answer? So uh, in that situation, I answered that and also you should answer that your password is very much uh, private you cannot share your password with anybody so you won't be able to give your password so you can't just deny your manager because he's your manager you have to convince him that sorry sir I'll, I won't be able to give uh, you my password but I'll be uh, traveling back to the place that is the company and I'll be uh, taking that data from the system and, and I'll give you but sorry but I cannot give uh, you my password so you cannot share your password with anybody so that is a one of the ethics you should follow in the company okay so please uh, keep this in mind that you should never share your password if it is your company id or any other uh, your personal um, website or anything please don't share your passwords with anybody the next question was a, a technical question it was to write a c program that is uh, the c program which will Take the sum of the all even numbers present in a series. That is, you are going to enter a series and uh, the C program will take out the even numbers or pick out the even numbers and will find the sum of this even numbers. So this is actually a very simple problem. And also he asked me some very uh, simple uh, keywords and some uh, technical things from the C programming. And he obviously tested that whether I know the very basic structure of a C program and will I be able to train and will I be able to uh, evolve in my programming so that he has all uh, that he has tested but uh, yes obviously the interview was more over a it's a type of an interview rather than a uh, technical interview the next question was where do you see yourself after 10 years so obviously if you are self-inspired or motivated you should see a growth in your career after 10 years right 10 years is a long period so I answer this question like that I see myself as a manager of a, uh, any project or any account so uh, that was my uh, answer so you should also uh, answer the question like this that is you should uh, see a growth in yourself you should see a growth in your career as a person yes so uh, whenever you are seeing yourself after 10 years there should be a growth in you so that was my answer the next question was that it was a little funny uh, he was asking me that are you a proactive person and I told that yes I'm a proactive person uh, and he told me that uh, instantly you have to write a story and he just give me a pen and a paper and he told me to you can write a story on any theme or any story but uh, you have to write a story and I started writing something I was just scribbling something and he uh, he took the paper back and pen back and he was just trying to uh, see whether I'm an active person or not that is I'm a proactive person or not I'm not a very active person but I'm a little bit active so he was just uh, testing that the next question was will you be able to continue for five years in the company that is uh, some difficult question that you cannot say what all things will happen in your life what all things will uh, happen in your future so uh, I answered the question yes obviously I'll be sticking with the company for five years or maybe ten years uh, but I couldn't unfortunately I couldn't uh, continue for five years uh, but at that time if you are uh, facing such a question you have to answer yes I will be because if some employer is hiring you it is just uh, not for fun he is expecting something from you okay so if uh, he is hiring something he should get a asset or a, uh, his it is some asset for him his company or uh, something productive so it should be long lasting also so uh, while answering such question you have to be a little little careful that you have to say yes i'll be able to stick with the company for five years or if he's asking for 10 years yes obviously for 10 years next question was uh, regarding my favorite work location that is if uh, you are selected for this position which uh, place you will choose as your first workplace so uh, he was giving me options like Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, etc. So uh, at that time, I had a fascination to Mumbai and I told him that 
Mumbai will be my first uh, work location and uh, in real life what happened was my first work location was actually Pune. So uh, that was a little funny but yes I got Pune as my first work location. So if the interviewer is uh, giving you some choices like these and if there is a favorite place uh, of yours that is some favorite place you want to go to or work uh, work in that particular place then don't hesitate just say that this is my first work location or this place I want to choose okay the next question was very uh, very common question the expected salary okay whenever you are facing such a question you should keep in mind that you should not be uh, underestimating your capabilities or productivity or uh, your talent you should not overestimate also okay so uh, first whenever you are going for an interview you should always expect such a question that is, you should be always uh, being asked, that is, what is your expected salary? So, if whatever your uh, position be, job position be, or whatever uh, job position you are going to give the interview be, just be prepared with this question and just have a idea of the figure which you are going to tell. You should have a figure like 20,000 or uh, below 20,000 or above 20,000 or some particular number. You should always keep, your, keep in your mind before going for the interview. Okay, so I have, I have also faced such a question and I think I have answered it as 20,000, I guess. So whenever you are answering this question, don't hesitate to say the amount which you have kept in your mind. Please don't make the amount very less and also very high. Okay, so uh, and also don't be afraid that the person will reject you because of this. If you are really talented, if the interviewer really likes you, he will not reject you with your uh, expected salary. That is, if it is more, you won't be get rejected. But if your talent is less, if you are not able to impress the interviewer, means maybe. So these are the questions which I had to face in the interview. Uh, I'm not uh, sure that whether everybody is facing such questions or such uh, interview questions in Capgemini interviews or any other uh, uh, interviews in, I mean, the interviews with any other firms. But yes, this was a question which I had to face and I really hope that this video was useful for you guys to at least understand how to answer some of the questions. Okay, so if yes, please do share this video with your friends and family and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.